Hi friends, I'm Annie F. Downs. Let's read the Gospels. The Gospels are the first four books of the New Testament in the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These are the stories of Jesus Christ's life on earth, the friendships, the parables, the sacrifices, the meals, the miracles. Did you hear what we're doing starting in January? We hope you'll join us again in the new year. We're gonna slow things down a bit, read a chapter a day in January, February, and March. So this will be a great way to start the year really savoring scripture as we continue to read the gospels together. There is a free reading plan for those three months available at anniefdowns.com slash gospels. Each month, as you know, this year, we've gotten to read all four books. So make sure you're subscribed today. Finish out December with us and then get ready as we slow things down and do a chapter a day, January through March. So here's how this works. I'm going to read three chapters to you today. You can listen or read along in your own Bible and then I'll pray. And that's it. We get to start the book of Matthew today. So buckle up for that genealogy. Today is December 13th and I'll be reading Matthew chapters one through three. And this month I'm reading from the NASB. Matthew one. The record of the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham fathered Isaac, Isaac fathered Jacob, and Jacob fathered Judah and his brothers. Judah fathered Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Perez fathered Hezron, and Hezron fathered Ram. Ram fathered Amminadab, Amminadab fathered Nashon, and Nashon fathered Salmon. Salmon fathered Boaz by Rahab, Boaz fathered Obed by Ruth, and Obed fathered Jesse. Jesse fathered David the king. David fathered Solomon by her who had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon fathered Rehoboam, Rehoboam fathered Abijah, and Abijah fathered Asa. Asa fathered Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat fathered Joram, and Joram fathered Uzziah. Uzziah fathered Jotham, Jotham fathered Ahaz, and Ahaz fathered Hezekiah. Hezekiah fathered Manasseh, and Manasseh fathered Amon, and Amon fathered Josiah. Josiah fathered Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the deportation to Babylon. After the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah fathered Shealtiel, and Shealtiel fathered Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel fathered Abihud, Abihud fathered Eliakim, and Eliakim fathered Azer. Azer fathered Zadok, Zadok fathered Ockham, and Ockham fathered Eliud. Eliud fathered Eleazar, Eleazar fathered Matan, and Matan fathered Jacob. Jacob fathered Joseph, the husband of Mary, by whom Jesus was born, who is called the Messiah. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations, and from the deportation to Babylon to the Messiah, 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, was as follows. When his mother, Mary, had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And her husband, Joseph, since he was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. But when he had thought this over, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child who had been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you shall name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Now all this took place so that what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet would be fulfilled. Behold, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel which translated means God with us. And Joseph awoke from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took Mary as his wife, but kept her a virgin until she gave birth to a son and he named him Jesus. Matthew 2. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for this is what has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah, for from you will come forth a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. 
Then Herod secretly called for the Magi and determined from them the exact time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully for the child. And when you have found him, report to me so that I too may come and worship him. After hearing the king, they went on their way and behold, the star, which they had seen in the east, went on ahead of them until it came to a stop over the place where the child was to be found. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And after they came into the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they fell down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And after being warned by God in a dream not to return to Herod, the Magi left for their own country by another way. Now when they had gone, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt and stay there until I tell you for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So Joseph got up and took the child and his mother while it was still night and left for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod. This happened so that what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet would be fulfilled. Out of Egypt, I called my son. Then when Herod saw that he had been tricked by the Magi, he became very enraged and sent men and killed all the boys who were in Bethlehem and all its vicinity who were two years old or under, according to the time which he had determined from the Magi. Then what had been spoken through Jeremiah, the prophet was fulfilled. A voice was heard in Ramah weeping in great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and she refused to be comforted because they were no more. But when Herod died, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the child's life are dead. So Joseph got up, took the child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Then after being warned by God in a dream, he left for the regions of Galilee and came and settled in a city called Nazareth. This happens so that what was spoken through the prophets would be fulfilled. He will be called a Nazarene. Matthew 3. Now in those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is the one referred to by Isaiah the prophet when he said, The voice of one calling out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Now, John himself had a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem was going out to him and all Judea and all the region around the Jordan, and they were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they confessed their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, You offspring of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Therefore, produce fruit consistent with repentance, and do not assume that you can say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father, for I tell you that God is able from these stones to raise up children for Abraham. And the axe is already laid at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit is being cut down and thrown into the fire. As for me, I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, and I am not fit to remove his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clear his threshing floor, and he will gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus arrived from Galilee at the Jordan, coming to John to be baptized by him. But John tried to prevent him, saying, I have the need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me. But Jesus answering said to him, Allow it at this time, for in this way it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After he was baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and settling on him. And behold, a voice from the heavens said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. That is Matthew chapters 1 through 3 in the NASB. Let's pray together. Jesus, I just am um, grateful for these three chapters. I like how they move through your life pretty quickly, a real focus on the start and then a real focus on a restart of your ministry of baptism. And and so um, as we are in the middle of Advent, as Christmas is coming, as we celebrate your birth in any of our lives where there is a new season coming, even if it's the new year for all of us, that 
that we would celebrate it, God. Give us a heart to celebrate new beginnings, to tell the stories of new beginnings, and, um, and to be excited about them. So increase the excitement in us over new beginnings. We love you, Jesus. We love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.